So poor France just can't catch a break. All of their colonies in Africa have decided to rebel against their overlords, but I think they're going to be able to hold on and keep them under their power for now. Because France did call on their allies, and their allies really is just Great Britain at this point. That is kind of the only alliance they have. Turkey wouldn't have helped out that much. Not really. Greece, maybe. Maybe Turkey, maybe a little bit of Greece. It's mainly the British. And not even the British, it's mainly the British colonies already located in Africa and the Sub-Saharan region. So uh, you've got British Nigeria coming after. Actually, you know what? British Nigeria is not the one that's going to be getting the job done. Uh, it actually might be... Cape Colony, potentially, even though they're also, they're also dealing with some stuff. Well, that's kind of interesting. So maybe it is just England. Uh, right now, they're at negative one war score. So they're going to need about, I think, 20. I think they need about 20 war score. I always, I don't know why. I really wish I could, I need to figure out the actual number. Because it's not that hard, Drew. It's really not that hard. It's like 20 or 25, something like that. I need to figure out the actual number. But uh, either way. So they're going to need a good amount. So what's happening here? Uh, Liberia. Liberia, and we're seeing French Niger, though, come over. Okay, but Liberia is running away, and they're low morale. It's only 0.7 stack, Drew. Come on, man. It's it's nothing. Okay, well, never mind. That's that's definitely not it. Oh, okay, so here they are, British East Africa. So they still have a sizable force here uh, in Eastern Africa. British Sudan is probably, well, a lot of the reinforcements, you know, they, they might be a combination of, of some of the other colonies to the south as well. That's something to keep in mind. French Equatorial Africa, they are running back. Now, as soon as British Niger, uh, kind of, or Nigeria, kind of falls under, then they'll be able to focus more heavily. Oh, they're still at negative four, though. Uh, so they have all of, uh, all of Iberia on their side. I don't know how the Saudis are doing. Here's the thing. If the Saudis end up getting dominated, then that's, that's enough to have them lose the war. Unless, of course, the Saudis get separate pieced. Then, because they just, they're, you know, the colonies are just trying to attain a certain number of war score, uh, and the Saudis could drag them down because of that. So, uh, if they get lucky, the Saudis may force to, may be forced to separate peace and get out of the war. Uh, that will kind of help them out with some war score. Yeah, because they're fighting Turkey right now. I'm sure they're going to fight, yeah, they're fighting Greece. They're fighting most of uh, the British are actually going after the Arabian Peninsula instead of. Uh, the French colonies. So that's a little bit too bad. I'm hoping that we see the colonies rise up at some point, and I'm sure it's only a matter of time. I don't know how much longer the British are going to stay uh, allied to the French. I can't see it lasting that much longer. Also, is Spain kicking France's butt? Not really. Where is Spain at? Oh, okay. So actually, there's a 64 stack of Portuguese units running through northern France, northern, uh, northern African, North African French territory. Even though I feel like they should be going, it doesn't matter. I mean, I was going to say they should probably be going for kind of uh, European French, French lands. But either way, it's still there. These are all still the part of their empire, technically. So it's not like this stuff is a colony either. So they still would need to siege a lot of this stuff out. Oh, okay. So actually, they're getting pretty messed up. They were pretty messed up by a few French occupations. But I don't see any more French regiments. So, uh, they might be able to remove those occupations for now as quickly as possible. I, I feel like we're starting to see French Equatorial Africa start to lose a little bit of power here. Ooh, okay, so here's a big victory for them. Yeah, that's a very big victory. So they're going to push out. I think that's British East Africa. Yep, they're going to be put forced to kind of run back home. Again, so shocked to see uh, Angola and Mozambique kind of stay neutral in this war. Really didn't think that was going to happen. I figured if anything, they'd be supporting the, those independence, uh, those independent colonies. Who, who else? Why would they? Why would they not? Yeah. So I don't know if they're going to win this unless something crazy starts to happen. Uh, Brazil really is just kind of staying quiet, but Brazil is now kind of a global power. Something to keep in mind. Right now, they're only allied to Germany, but I could see the Brazilians maybe allying to the British at some point. Now, when that's only after the British lose these uh, this footholds in northern latin america uh because right now they're probably they just probably don't like each other actually they've got a good opinion so maybe i'm right about that the british have a good opinion of brazil brazil doesn't really like that they're in their territory uh, either way i bet you brazil is actually going to ally with the with the british at some point because remember the british desperately need an alliance they need they need to form something because the germans are going crazy right now and uh the british have no friends what about scandinavia 
I know Scandinavia isn't. Well, they, they kind of have a high opinion of each other. Scandinavia has an opportunity, maybe, of e taking even more lands from the Soviets, which would be really interesting. Okay, anyways, uh, what's going on here? We have all of West Africa, almost all of West Africa, sieged by France. Portugal's trying. Uh, I'm guessing they have some sort of good fort system. Not really, actually. Once you get into the Sahara region of this French territory, it's, it's all open ground. I mean, anyone can move through there. So they only really need to siege out a few more forts and they can come and reinforce, technically. I, I don't know who's... I, I'm guessing the British probably have uh, naval superiority. So I don't think that the uh, Spanish or Portuguese are going to want to drop off any sort of ships. And actually, that's something that we should keep in mind. Maybe after this war, we should see what the British do to the Portu Portuguese and Spanish fleets. Because uh, I'd imagine that... Because the British have such a huge navy, I'd imagine there's probably a few naval battles going on out in the seas, and uh, they're probably dominant. Yeah, look, there's a big old stack of 142 ships right here. Huge stack. You know, the French colonies don't really have too many coastal provinces, so they're not they're not contributing much uh, to the Spanish and Portuguese forces. Gold Coast. See, there's no separate piecing of colonies, though. That is going to be... The French, the French colonies are going to be forced to stay under France, even if France is really weak, until they lose that alliance with the British. Be just or, or, unless all of them rise up in Africa. If they all rise up, then that's going to be a completely different story, which is entirely possible. Right now, I'm very much rooting for an independent Africa. I would, have, I, I would love to see that. But yeah, these numbers are extremely low. And it makes sense, because the British are still really powerful. I've discussed this before. The British are, are, are stronger than we've ever seen them before. Stronger than we've ever seen them. Not not, not before. But yeah, stronger than we've ever seen them. Too many befores. Uh, I swear, every time I look at this, I think, Oh my gosh, is Papua New Guinea? Is Papa underneath British Australia? But no, it's uh, that's, that's its own colony, Papa. 9%. Oh my gosh, 9% liberty desire. That is so low. 13 with Australia. Australia probably also contributing a ton of uh, naval power to the British. I mean, they might not actually be over there fighting these wars, but uh, but yeah, they're probably... Are they allied to Turkey? No, I'm guessing France has got to be the one allied to Turkey. Yes, France, Ireland. France actually has a lot of, of allies for some reason. Liberia. Uh, yeah, so this war is over. I think it's going to stay in the negatives, and, uh, you know, I think that just the French have too many alliances. So what will happen, I'm thinking, with time, is that the Germans are going to eventually kick France out of, uh, out of continental Europe. Maybe at some point even, maybe Germany will attack North Africa. Actually, you know what, that wouldn't be Germany, that would be Italy. More than likely, actually, let's go ahead and check because I love being able to check on what the AI is uh, is thinking at all times and where they're trying to expand towards. Yeah, that there you go. So France is going to want to defend itself more from Italy from here on out because they're going to lose their control over continental Europe. There's there's no way they hold on to that stuff. So Italy is actually going to be the aggressor uh, probably from here on out. Thing is, though, Italy is not as powerful. Italy is definitely not as powerful as Germany. Obviously, when Germany calls in Italy to wars, I mean, Italy just is like the, the big loser. Uh, Italy forces Germany to take less war score. Oh, there's actually a very interesting... Oh, British Australia did uh, end up getting into a, a naval battle here. And they went all the way to the Mediterranean. Well, you know, I gave them credit. They at least tried, right? They at least tried. Oh, even uh, French Brittany is almost fully occupied as well. Is, wait a second, is Ireland in, involved in this war? They are, okay. I don't know how long Ireland's going to stay alive. Actually, the fact that Ireland is still alive is pretty cool. But, um, actually, the reason why they're still alive is because they're allied to France, and, and the British are not going to want to uh, kind of hurt that relationship with France. The British just want friends right now, but when France, I think, eventually does fall, uh, we will probably see Ireland get eaten up. Because, you know, people are starting to chip away already at the British Empire slowly chip away, especially China here, chipping away at British India. That's that's the big thing. Uh, are there any new wars? Yes, there is one new war, and uh, it's between the Soviet Union and Scandinavia and Latvia. Okay, so this is a little bit more fun. Um, now the Soviets have obviously gained more ground from Russia. Russia still exists in pockets uh, of in, in Central Asia, but um, they are... This, I don't know, this is going to be close. Latvia is not going to be able to contribute that much. 
if the Scandinavians begin to lose this, the, their, their only hope might be that China decides. Actually, no, China is peaceful. Yeah, China likes the Soviet Union. So really, at this point, nobody would declare... Actually, the Germans. Ooh. Now, what if the Germans declared on the Soviets? I don't think they would do that, though. Soviets also allied to Turkey. So now that the Soviets are back in power, the Germans have to worry back uh, in their eastern front because the Soviets will be kind of a threat. Obviously, the Western Front isn't as big of a deal as before since they've eliminated France, but still, Spain and the British still exist in uh, in that region. This is kind of more like World War II than, than we've seen in the past, almost. It's 2013, and this is almost a little bit more like World War II, at least in Europe. I mean, imagine this, Soviets attacking Finland, and uh, Germany has full occupation over France. We'll see if uh, Germany decides to attack the Soviet Union. Things like that maybe are a little bit more similar. Okay, so they're going to win a battle here. So they're going to kick out a few Soviet regiments. A few, but that's not going to be enough because there's a 41 stick. 40, 41 stack stick. And uh, there's a 29, yeah, 29 also running around. Latvia is not really able to contribute much. All right, so the Soviets are going to gain back their ground. Now, look at this, though. Soviets lost their cores, so they're not going to be able to take like a whole bunch of land away from Scandinavia, I don't think. I don't think they will. Um, let's go ahead and check the uh, desired provinces. So they want most of Latvia, which makes sense because they have cores in that region, weirdly enough, not along the, not along the front. I mean, it's 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 kind of confusing because Russia, Scandinavia took all this land when it was Russia uh, that was in power here, but uh, either way. <clears throat> Yeah, so we'll see what they decide to take, but it looks like the Soviets are going to have a pretty dominant war uh, when it comes to after Scandinavia. We've got the Netherlands versus, really, the Netherlands versus Portugal and Spain. Why? Why did you do that, Netherlands? That's a strange one. Uh, Italian-French imperialist war. What? Oh, so, so just like that, France decided to... I'm sorry, Italy did decide... But they're at negative 10. War score. Why are they at negative 10? Jeez, the French are being just held up by all these alliances. It's amazing. So the Soviets are only at 3 war score. I don't know why the Netherlands are going after France. I'm sorry. The Netherlands are going after Spain and Portugal. I'm guessing it has something to do with uh, Indonesia. It's got to have something to do. Yeah. Yep. It's going for that. They're going for that one province. <clears throat> yep. That's That's got to be it. Okay, well, that's interesting, I guess. Um, okay, so obviously these guys did not get their independence, and we kind of knew that, but their liberty desire is still pretty high, and it's, it's actually going to grow a whole bunch more after Germany. Germany already has full occupation over these French lands. Now, question is, will Italy finally be able to do this? This is the problem. Oh, and the Saudis were forced to uh, annul that alliance with Italy. Actually, no, that... That doesn't make any sense. That didn't just happen, I don't think. Either way, the Saudis are only allied to Georgia, which is not good for them because the, the British are obviously breathing down their neck. Okay, so let's see if the Germans are actually going to contribute something here. They they are... Oh, they're moving through Spanish lands. Are they at war? Oh my gosh, Spain, Spain hates Germany. Oh, they hate each other. Wow, okay. Um, yeah, let's let's see as they kind of move through Iberia to reinforce. Now, this didn't happen last time. Last time, Germany was not able to get uh, open borders through uh, Spain. Now, this might be, make a pretty big difference because you have Germans reinforcing through Iberia. They'll probably be able to get even more control. I mean, remember, the war is for France. Not anything else. It's for France. So the more occupations they get, the better war score, I'm assuming, but they're still at negative 9. How are they still at negative 9? Also, look at the Soviets. They're down to negative 1. So I don't know if Scandinavia is doing a better job of pushing back. They are, actually. I see no Soviets in, in Scandinavian territory anymore. Soviets aren't fighting a second war, are they? No. So where are you at? Are you just trying to reinforce? I think Scandinavia finally got their forces together. They've got a 77 stack. Latvia is continuing to contribute a little. Oh, are they? Or maybe they're already in this. Yeah, Latvia's trying. Scandinavia's going to come and reinforce. Yeah, I mean, Scandinavia's pretty strong. 
uh, military-wise, army-wise, which I'm pretty surprised at. I didn't know that they were this powerful. So they've got a good 100 stack. I don't know now. This is going to be interesting. I, I Either way, it's something that we, I, we've we never really seen before. We see, we've seen like a struggling Soviet, so I wouldn't mind the East getting a little bit stronger, especially the Soviets and the Chinese allied to each other. That's such a scary alliance. Um, but we I've never seen, I don't think anyone's really ever seen the AI, AI Scandinavia, do super well attacking kind of modern day Russian lands. So this might be something that we've never seen before, which could be exciting. Uh, does, uh, does Scandinavia desire these lands? They do. Oh, they definitely do. They also desire Northern Germany, but that's, that's definitely not gonna happen. Is this war already over or what? Did the Germans just give up? They're, they're going back home. I don't think they really care much for Italy. So, um, with such low war score, I think we might finally see someone force Germany to annul that alliance. Well, actually, it wouldn't be, they wouldn't be forcing Germany to do anything. They'd be forcing Italy to, to annul the alliance with Germany if Italy loses this really badly, which I think is likely. Obviously, uh, you know, just like always, Italian Somaliland is getting absolutely destroyed. Once that gets destroyed, they're going to come up, come up towards uh, Italian Egypt. And this is, then this is going to get completely destroyed. So I think they're going to get enough war score here. Oh, is Greece involved? Oh, they are involved. That's why Germany got distracted. And then Germany is going to start to invade through Turkey. Holy crap, that's really cool. Now, they're going to, they're, I think they're going to force uh, Greece to separate peace really soon here. They've got to. Negative 17. Yeah, so I think this alliance might finally be over. The alliance might finally be over. Soviets are at negative 14 war score with Scandinavia. Scandinavia is going to be able to do whatever they want, I think. Maybe. Actually, I don't know about whatever they want. The Soviets are really rebuilding quite quickly. So this might end in a stagnant war or just a one or two province exchange. Netherlands at negative six because they only have occupation over one province, which is, I know they only wanted really one province, but they're going to need to occupy a little bit more than just one province. <laughs> if they really want this, uh, this to work out for them. I want to see what's going to happen to Greece. I know that the Italians desire these lands. But with the fall of Greece and the uh, the exit of Greece in this war, I think it would just force them to lose even more war score. Right now, oh my gosh, it's at negative 15. Soviets are at negative 20. What about Turkey? Is Turkey reinforcing? I mean, they're trying to, but they're not able to beat the German forces. Interesting to see the AI leave North Africa and go attack Greece instead. I'm not sure why they did that, but if Italy's lucky, they they might be able to take these Greek lands, like right now. That w that would be helpful. Uh, anyways, guys, I'm gonna have to stop right there. We're gonna see what happens in the next video. Still plenty of wars going on, Conf constantly conflicts occurring all over the world, so that's always really fun. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.